Well, let's talk about pentagonal and hexagonal number. The formula for a pentagonal number is n times 3n minus 1 all over 2. So let's see if we want to find the fifth pentagonal number. It'll be 5 times 15 minus 1 divided by 2. This will be 5 times 14 divided by 2, which will be 35. Next, let's try and find the 14th pentagonal number. So the formula is n times 3n minus 1 divided by 2. We plug this in, so we have 14 times 3 times 14 minus 1 divided by 2. This is 14 times 42 minus 1 divided by 2, which is 14 times 41 divided by 2. We can cancel these out, and this will be 287. The formula for hexagonal numbers is n times 2n minus 1. So let's say we want to find the 8th hexagonal number. We do 8 times 2 times 8 minus 1. This is 8 times 16 minus 1, which is 8 times 15. 8 times 15 will be 120. Next, let's try finding the 18th hexagonal number. So plugging into the formula, we have... 18 times 2 times 18 minus 1. This is 18 times 36 minus 1. This is 18 times 35. We can do something similar to the 15 trick. We can make the 18 into a 9, and we can make 30 into a 70. All I did was multiply this by 2 and divide this by 2, so it ca all cancels out. 9 times 70 is 630. Now, hexagonal and pentagonal numbers can be a little bit tricky, so this requires a lot of practice. I've linked a practice worksheet and its answers in the comment section, so make sure to go check those out.